the Joe Rogan experience. But any of those old schoolers, yeah, that's a point. At it's funny, it's it's in true story where I talk about how those guys who are such um, icons couldn't make it today because yeah. they take too long. Mm-hmm. You could take you could take two minutes before you got to the punchline. You could take two minutes to set something up. The audience was perfectly okay with that. You could never do that today. Jack Benny mm-hmm. and Bob Hope was more rapid fire. But a lot of these old schoolers, you know, I mean, I have a never funny list. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> me and a friend of mine created years ago, and some of them are on it, you know, Danny Thomas and I don't know, yeah. Red Skelton. I, I mean, there's some people I thought were never, Bill Cosby, I must say, so was on that list. Really? Oh, yeah. You never I, thought he was funny? Never thought he was funny. Even when he was doing Bill Cosby himself, like back in the album days? And I may have missed some stuff he did, but everything I ever heard, even when I was a kid and I saw him on TV, I'm like, no, I don't like this shit's corny. And I, I feel very, very uh, ahead of my time. I never liked him. I did. <laughs> well, it was one of those things where if you had said any of this that you're saying 10 years ago, people would have been furious at you. Well. But now he's been exposed. I, as- somebody told me he was a creep. Back in 1983. Ah, okay. Um, Someone told me in 94. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it was somebody I liked, not somebody I was romantically involved with, but a girl who he was horrible to. Mm. And uh, I never liked him after that as a person. That makes sense. I had heard from people on the set of news radio that he drugged girls. It was like one of those weird things that you heard as a room, like, what does he do? Yeah. He drug girls? Like Bill Cosby? Bill right. Cosby, Bill Cosby. We're talking about the same guy? Right. It's not like Steve McQueen, Steve McQueen. We'll get him confused. Right. No. No, I mean. Uh, America's yeah, dad. Yeah, America, And you have to wonder why a guy who could um, get laid. Yeah. Uh, even as a married man. Um, that's obviously a sick kink he had. But I also know uh, a guy who was a promoter and and – told incredibly ridiculous stories about things that Bill Cosby did that were not sexual, but just informed me that what his kink is is part of a much larger sickness about control yeah. and making people do weird things because he can. Let me tell you what I heard. You tell me what you heard. Okay. I heard he makes people watch him eat curry. He would make the whole staff come into his dressing room and watch him eat. I hadn't heard that exactly, but it's exactly in line with what yeah. I heard, that he would uh, do things like make you, um, what was one of them, like he would order food and then he would say, you know, uh, scoop out the uh, <laughs> the doughy part of the hamburger bun after you wash your hands and put it back on the hamburger. Or once he asked them to send him the soap that he hadn't finished using in the dressing room like collect, send it to him send it to, yeah just like crazy crazy shit that again speaks to a uh, pathology that's larger than what we know about him sexually that that fits yeah. as a subcategory under that because to need to have the woman be unconscious yeah that's a, that's a weird thing. I can't I can't I can't get into. I I, I there's certain things I like. I can't even imagine why someone would find it attractive Most to, men to be can't. with a child. Yeah. No, it's, I can't understand why that right. would be appealing to you. I can't understand this. You know, yeah. a lot of things I can't understand. Um, I worked at a casino, and he made the security guard tuck him into bed <laughs> yeah. and shut things, the lights off. Things like I was like, I'm going to lie <laughs> on the bed, and I want you to tuck me in and shut the lights off. Like he had like a, a whole routine that he wanted them to follow, and he wanted them to tuck him into bed. Yeah. Wow. Well, I had a friend who had an interesting take on it. And he said, there is something that happens to some famous people, particularly famous people who were famous a long time ago, where they feel like they are better 
than other people. That well, there is a giant gap between them and other people, and they feel like they can do things to people. And they that, that well, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's uncommon. But his pathology. But, but most meaning, people try to hide that. <laughs> well, I think <laughs> they try he did. to hide that feeling. They try to. But I think he did present, try to hide it. You know, it's called acting. You yes. Know? Uh, that's why when they are in front of the camera, they're so charming. But we know that behind the scenes, they're they're not. Yeah. But he seemed to wear it on his sleeve. Well, no. sort of sometimes, right? But the other thing that he was doing in public was he was trying to chastise uh, other comics for using bad words. And, you know, he, he had a lot of weird control issues with that as well. But my, my friend's take on it yes. was that he thinks that there are people that they get to this position where they think that they're owed things. And he, he thought about that sexually too. He said he probably felt like he was just so above those women that he didn't even want to negotiate with them. He just drugged them and fucked them because he's Bill Cosby and they should be happy. Yeah. I, it's crazy. It's, no, it's, it's no, I the mean, there's human, no, the, yeah. the human mind is the bottom of the ocean. It's mostly unexplored, <laughs> a, a giant mystery. Well, uh, especially it, that kind of scenario. I mean, how many human beings have ever experienced what he's experienced? He's been famous since the 1950s. Right. He was an American icon. Right. He is rich beyond imagination. Groundbreaker. Groundbreaker. And you know. a legitimate world-class stand-up comic who toured the whole world, created yeah. this Cosby show that was a groundbreaking television show. Oh, yeah. So many factors. So many yeah. factors. And then on top of that, a psychotic pervert and a creep and drugging right. women. I mean, on top, and who knows what other, fu other fucking shit, probably not just that. No. You know, when someone's that fucked up, it's probably not just, they might find like 30 dead cats in his backyard. Right. I mean, who knows what the fucking guy's into? <laughs> well, I, somebody told me, uh, this may not be true, that he was drugging people with animal tranquilizers. That that's he had a vet's license or something, and that's how it, that's how he was. Because people were like, how did he get the stuff that he was right. using for the knockout pills, Ugh. would this would it offend you if I put my feet? No, up? not at all. And when, okay. Why would it offend? It is me? a man. Well, it's a man, it's a man cave. cave. I know. Put I him up there, ask. buddy. It's your, Relax. Your, it's your place. I want you to I, feel good. Yeah. I put my feet up here all the time. Oh, great! You no. got some loafers See, on I purpose. On those are your choice. You wore those today. I didn't even think about it. See, that's that's <laughs> why I'm saying I, I'm glad I did this because I don't have to think about oh my wardrobe and what I'm going to wear and yeah. is Johnny going to like me? <laughs> oh boy! Did you do the Tonight Show with Johnny? 30 times. Holy shit. 1982 to 1992. Wow. Yeah. 30 times. Yes, which just shows you that show was, when I, when I started to do it, there was such a proliferation of comics. that You could do that show 30 times, and that didn't make me famous. I mean, it, it elevated me to a degree. It legitimized you in show business. But... That at one point, just doing the Tonight Show once made you a star. Mm. But part of what True Story is about was the comics' frustration that they came along at a time when it wasn't that unique a thing anymore. Mm. There was too many comics. You couldn't swing a dead cat without hitting a comic. <laughs>